Hello, this is Helen from Stories by AI. Today we will give an honest review of the iPhone 11. Let's begin. Apple's newest iPhone, featuring a dual-lens camera, better durability, new colors, and more. Apple also debuts an updated version of iOS at the same time that new iPhones launch, but new versions of iOS are pre-introduced every year at Apple's annual Worldwide Developers Conference to give developers time to incorporate new features and technologies into their apps ahead of when the software becomes available to the public. If you've used a recent iPhone then you'll be familiar with how its gestures work, but if you're coming up from one which had a physical button underneath the screen, it'll take a little bit of time to figure out how to move between apps and so on, but once you do you'll probably soon find that it's very intuitive. On nearly every Android phone, you can see the time, date, notifications, and other information even when the phone is off, thanks to a low-power, mostly black and white screen that stays on. I've lost count of how many times I've looked over at my iPhone in the middle of the night only to see a blank screen staring back at me. In fact, I've started keeping an Android phone on my nightstand just so I can see the time. Even if it sheds a little battery life, an always-on display as tops on the list of features I want to see in iOS 12. Now it's going to be much easier because the tech giant has agreed to give independent shops access to the parts and tools which let them mend broken Apple gadgets, which is great for consumers and even better for small business owners who can now earn a buck fixing iPhones. In doing so, the iPhone 11 is said to have one more hour of battery life than the iPhone XR. More impressively, they claim the iPhone 11 Pro will have four more hours of battery life than the iPhone XS, while the iPhone 11 Pro Max will have five more hours than the iPhone XS Max battery. They are every bit the premium smartphone, the always-on point Apple design with the matte glass, steel edges and sleek shape impresses, and even though there hasn't been a huge overhaul in look, the excellent new camera really does make it a genuine upgrade from the XS. Portrait mode has been available since the iPhone X, but in this year's iPhone, portrait mode photos can be taken with either the telephoto lens or the wide-angle lens, thanks to the addition of the ultra-wide-angle lens, which can be used for depth perception. Under the hood, the iPhone 11 has the brand new A13 Bionic chip, which is even more powerful than the A12 from the iPhone XR. Apple claims it's the fastest CPU and GPU in a smartphone, blowing all other processors out the water which is great news if you love playing games on your smartphone. It has so many of the same features as the significantly more expensive iPhone 11 Pros, that it doesn't feel like the cheap iPhone. Its dual-camera system with an ultra-wide lens and the ability to shoot 4K video at 60fps, also means that the iPhone 11 feels like a big upgrade over the older iPhone XR and iPhone 8. It doesn't hurt that it's also the most affordable new iPhone to be released in years. But I'd argue the new cameras are the only reason to upgrade from a one- or two-year-old iPhone to an iPhone 11. While next year's devices are expected to take another leap forward, superior photography is the sole way 2019's iPhones stand out from 2018's. Yes, it is more expensive, but if you can face the cost of an iPhone 11 Pro, you can probably stretch just that little big further to get that bigger 6.5-inch screen, which will really do justice to the iPhone 11's Pro's excellent still image and video quality. Here's what we wrote in our iPhone 11 review, after conducting our formal battery tests and living with the iPhone 11 for over a month, we found the battery life is about the same as last year's iPhone XR. In our streaming video tests, the iPhone 11 lasted 13 hours and 52 minutes compared with the iPhone XR's time of 12 hours and 7 minutes in the same test. It has a glass design and wireless charging, as well as the A11 Bionic chip, naturally this is a lot slower than the A13 in the iPhone 11 handsets but it should still do the job if your needs are light, email, surfing the web, checking social media, graphically undemanding games. The iPhone 11 Pro's camera software is also getting an upgrade, it'll be able to take three images simultaneously from each of the lenses and combine them together to create higher resolution pictures, rivaling some traditional cameras, according to Bloomberg, and will boast improved low-light capabilities. Thank you for watching Stories by AI. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.